Okay, I'm gonna ask you to put your camera away because this is a private space you can't film in. Please read the sign and put the What's camera What's your away. name? They don't want people filming in here. It doesn't matter if it's public or not. They don't want people filming. It does matter. As far as my instructions are, is it is. It doesn't matter. If you don't leave, we have to call the police. We've asked you to stop. If you're not going to stop, then we will call the police. Turn off your camera. So, like I said, your business is concluded here. Would you guys like them trespass? I've asked you to wait outside. You guys recording up? Huh? Did you get your recording up? Yeah, why? I just want to make sure you had time to hit start on it if you weren't. Yeah. Uh, do you happen to have your ID on you? If you can articulate a crime that I committed, I'll give you my ID. Trespass. What's up, man? Howdy, folks, and welcome back to the American Shit Show. This twisted series of events was recorded by none other than Surreal Cam out of Tucson, Arizona. It's my professional opinion that the stars of this show that you're about to meet have all been dropped on their head as children and hit with an ugly stick and stupid stick. I mean, it's literally that bad the way these people are acting in this video. It's mind-blowing. It was hard to make this video and not get upset every time they open their fucking mouth. I thought they were closed. All right, guys, we're back here for a little revisit. Last time I came here to Arizona, to Tucson, we had issues here for exercising our rights. I'm out with a girl with the camera. Try to let her uh, just take the lead here real quick. Oh, my friend, my friend needs help. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to put your camera away because this is a private space you can't film in. Oh yeah. Is this a uh, this is uh, public health department? Public health department, yes. Okay, cool. What's your name? Please read the sign. What's your name? Please read the sign. And put the What's your away. name? Hello. So for those of you that don't know, these signs refer to the space beyond the door. You notice as you walk up to the door in the public lobby that the sign says restricted area, patients and guardians only. No one else allowed past this point. This point being the door where the sign is located. Beyond that, below that sign, it says the Health Insurance Probability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, privacy rule does not allow photo or video in this area. This area being the restricted area beyond the door, not in the lobby. But these stupid people that work here honestly believe because they have tacked a sign onto the door that that makes it law. That's how dumb they are. They have no idea what a sign stands for. Just like the police thinking that because they see a no trespassing sign in the area that there is somebody they don't like, that they can just trespass them when the trespassing sign is essentially a fence. Anything beyond the trespassing sign is trespassing, not in front of it. Filming in her clinic. They don't want people filming in here. 
There isn't enough nice things in the world to say about this clown, so I'll let you just watch the video and come up with a few on your own. Let me know in the comments what you think about this idiot. He has no concept of what private and public property is. He literally thinks he's a door greeter at Walmart or something and keeps telling Surreal Cam to take it up with legal. <laughs> you mean the county attorney? I don't care what they want. This is a public building. It doesn't matter. If are we are we going for round two? It doesn't matter if it's public or not. They don't want people filming. It does matter. Then take it up with their legal department. No. See that sign? Yeah. That's a policy. That doesn't trump my constitutional right to record. Take it up with their legal department. I'm, I'm coming over here to conduct business, and I have a right to record here. No, you don't. No, you don't. Sir. Yes, I do. Okay. Take it up with their legal department. I'm not. As far as I've been informed, you don't. I'm working on a story on all the health departments here, and it doesn't and matter. It doesn't matter to me. No. I'm an independent journalist. I don't come to interact with anybody. I, what's your name again? It's none of your business. All right. So, I don't want. I don't want to. Just get away from me then. It's none of my business. Then you're not my business, right? I don't want anybody filming. I don't care what they want. So if you don't I have a right stop, to record. This is a constitutional protected activity. It is? Yes, it. Okay, it is it. Go look at your little Google on your phone and look that up. Yeah. See. As far as my instructions are, is it is. It doesn't matter. Listen, if I. You have, if you have my friend. Take it up with their legal department. Listen, I don't have a problem. Li listen, I'm not going to do that. My friend came to conduct business here, and we have a right to document everything with the government. This is a public area. This is a public building that the people pay for, tax dollars, all right? They have a right to run it how they I want. I want to disengage, dis dis I want to disengage right now. Then I need to ask you to leave. Well, you can ask. If you don't leave, we have to call the police because you've done trespass. I, well, then, I need to get through here so I'm sorry. I can talk to her. <sighs> can I talk to you real cordial, real quick, yeah. before this escalates any, any worse? So no, we've no, asked no. you to stop uh, cleaning. Like we've asked you to stop. Would have been if you're not going to stop, then we will call the police and they will remove you from the building. Can I speak for a second? Turn off your camera. No. Can I, this, can I speak for a second? Okay, there, it's not a discussion. What is your name? You cannot film this building. You know we have a First Amendment right to record? You do not have a First Amendment right. Smith versus Cummings? There's, there's case law on that. Something I find extremely pathetic about all the people in this video and all the videos that I watch is about 80% of the people featured in the videos are old enough to be my mom or dad, but yet they are too stupid to understand the difference between private and public. First Amendment rights, the right to free speech, the right to free press. They are literally the stupidest people on the planet, but yet they're older than me. I don't understand this dynamic here. I just want to have a, I want to have a court, you won't have a court conversation with me, ma'am? The policy that they have in place. The policy doesn't trump the law. Then take it up with their legal department. I don't need to, I don't need to waste my time with that. I don't. The law, I know what, I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to do that. I came to conduct real quick business here with my friend. And that's it. No, you didn't. No. Not if all you're doing is just filming and wanting, you know... But let me ask you a question real quick, man to man. What is the issue with, with filming? What 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 it is it? Matter. What is it? They've asked me and they've posted for their policy. Oh, you take orders they've for asked, a living. They've asked me to make sure nobody Yeah, you, t you take orders for for a living. Yeah, you got to do that. That sucks for you. Yeah. So you know, the orders that... The, the, concerned, it doesn't matter. The orders that you got... Listen, the orders that you're taking from these people are unlawful, dude. I have a right to... Re, I have a right... Legal department, like I said. I have a right to record my public officials while they're working on our tax dollars and while we're conducting business. This is a public building. I can't make it no more clear they for you. They still have a right to run it how they want. They, they, they don't own this building. Who pays this building? I don't care. It doesn't matter. Who pay? It does matter. We could try to just use those... As far as the situation goes, and then yeah, who pays this building? It does not matter. It is. It matters to me. It is a medical facility. They don't want people. You, you want to know why it matters to me? Because 
my tax dollars pay for this building. Yeah, it does matter. It matters to the people. Again, take it up with their legal department. Again, I'm not doing that. Unless, unless the policy changes, there's nothing I can do about it. So my doctor's all it's not my you didn't, look, you didn't look too good in my last video man huh? and you're not gonna look too good on this one it doesn't uh, matter yeah my mom's well, not all right before we continue with the video i have an important message for my diehard direct e fans we have a limited run of shirts available through my authorized dealer a link to my store where you can purchase one of these will be found in the description of this video and pinned in the comments. Go check it out. This is the only authorized Direct D merchandise producer on the planet as of right now. There will be limited run options for Direct D merchandise logos. What that means is we are only going to make 50 to 100 of each design. So if you want one of these, you better buy it now because we're not going to make any more. All right, now here's the details on pricing and shipping before we get back to your video. The shirt is $35 out the door anywhere in the United States, including shipping. If you want a shirt and you live outside of the United States, email the store directly by utilizing the email provided on the store's face page down at the bottom. Support the channel and get a one-of-a-kind shirt straight from DirectD. Now back to your video. You don't have permission to film. I don't need permission to yes, exercise my rights. She says, she says, well, you need permission to film. Out. Same thing. Yeah. Using Who do I need permission from? Like, and again, same Who thing. Who do I need right yeah. now? You do not have I permission mean, to film me. You're out in public, dude. I'm not. I said, no. I said that right. doesn't help much. Does this place have any cameras? I'm not outside roaming around. I'm inside. Does it, a, but you're in a public building. Yes, it is. A okay, what if I film you in the sidewalk? That doesn't matter. That doesn't. That's it's, fine. The, it, you're it's the same thing here. No. Yes, it does. You guys don't know your rights. That's why. This is why I. I this is exactly why I do this to Again, educate. Take it to educate people Excuse that don't. Me, I can't hear her. <laughs> you want to walk over here so we can have some courtesy for the lady? Oh. We can. You want to come over here? So I leave when I want to leave. You're not gonna tell me to leave. By not you stopping filming, you've been asked to stop filming, you've been asked to leave. If not, they're going to call you've been the police asking and you You've been asking and asking, I'm declining and declining. It's, and you, see, you see what I'm saying? You see, how the, you see how it works? Yes. That's why they're going to call the police and have you All removed. right, then let them call. Uh -huh. Let them call. If they're educated enough to educate you guys to let them know that I'm all within my rights to record here, we'll see how they... If not, they're going to look bad in their department too. That does not matter. What's your name, man? I'm not going to give it you my name. It's none of your business. Nah. But you, you want to engage him. You want to bust orders. And, and you you want to tell him, you want to tell another man to do something, oh, right? To leave a building that I pay for, but you, you don't want to give your name. Oh. Yeah. My name does not matter. You have no. It does name. matter. Hi. That's kind of rude, isn't it? You haven't given yours yet. So until you do, I'm not. Well, you haven't asked. She did. No, she didn't. She did. There's no need for that. You can. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing illegal. You can call them if you want. Yes. Yeah. So are the cops? Are the cops coming? Because if they are, I'll stay. Please do. Okay. I'll stay. My brother does. No problem. How you doing? Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the Tucson Police Department, where their words and whim become law. Arizona definitely has a clusterfuck of shitty police departments in this state, but this one ranks at number one or two, at least. After you listen to this moron speak for a few minutes, you're going to realize that he doesn't have the brain capacity to be doing this fucking job. Do something that I'm... Yeah, that's fair. What's your name, Ambassador? So... I can't even... 
<laughs> yeah, and I and do you notice I didn't say a word I, to I you guys outside. I absolutely respect that. Yeah, which is perfect. And I, I respect you guys' right to record. I try and honor all of that. Mm -hmm. However, if you don't have business in the premises, they can't ask you to leave. Right, but I did. I came in, got my business. Okay. And then Dave flipped out, and here we are. Except so we were gonna run. I haven't even yeah. I haven't even come outside to talk to you and guys I yet. That. I didn't try and bother you guys at all. No, nope, I However, that. remaining inside well, after business is concluded. And like I said, happy to talk to you outside in just a minute. Perfect. Cool. Okay, we'll go outside and yeah, away from you. Absolutely. Fine. Totally respected. Cool. Can I say something in here? Because then I'll talk to you outside in just one second. Are they closed? I'll talk to you outside in just one second then. Well what? This is the thing that we have. This is, no, we can it, talk right, listen, it, it, look, hold look, 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 look. on. I, I come with no new. ill will. This is not new, okay? I have no problem with you filming. Can you educate you're, them and let them gonna, know? You're not gonna get me all amped I don't up. want that. So the whole filming in my face thing isn't gonna so do anything. So why should I, I go I support, outside? Because I support your right to, because your oh. business is concluded here. Oh, I understand it, but we're waiting for you here for an hour, for 45 minutes. Uh, you're fine, you can wait outside because your business in here is concluded. Can I get your name and badge number yeah. one? McMillan, 103483. And like I said, I'm like she said, we conducted our business. They said we can't record it. Are you refusing to step out? No. Are you refusing to leave? I didn't say I'm that. I'm trying to avoid you on all that stuff. I didn't I say you. that. I will talk to you outside. Do I have to leave? If you have no business here, yes, they're asking we just you to leave. Got, We just got business here. We're waiting for you. It's fine. We're not going to run from you. From me What's the difference from waiting in a public lobby? Because they're asking you to leave. They can ask all they want. They don't own the building. No. This is a public building, sir. Dude. Work with me here. No, work with the, with the First Amendment. Work with my no, rights. Ag agitating a situation. Is I'm not trying to agitate. Good. So I will speak with you outside and I'm fully appeasing me. You can keep recording. You can keep doing your thing. I want to record you guys. You, you educating him. Okay. That's all Let's I want to do. Let's outside and we'll have our conversation. Okay? Clearly why would you want Why, why would you want to... Uh, listen, I... Joey, let him okay? Do clearly you don't... Listen. Like no. Because the directives... Okay. That, What's this is question? a public building. What's your question? Okay. Are you going to tell me to step away from a sidewalk? It's the same thing. We own this building. I have the right to sit there and wait for you. And I have the right to record there without even conducting any business. I can come inside this building in a public building. This is my First Amendment right. This is what I do for a living. I'm a journalist. And my people want to see the, 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 the people. How, Actually. The government officials that I'm working on. So you, you, you got to be careful with that. Because why am I careful? It's a medical facility. But, it, but what okay. does it say behind you? So it's a medical facility. Facility. But what does it say behind you? What's your question? What does it say behind you? It's a medical facility, but it's a public building. What, what's your argument? What are you trying to no. say? Is what I'm asking. No, so you're telling me to step outside. I want to catch so you guys. I want to catch you educating them on camera. No, dude, that's you don't want to look good? That's, that's not what I'm talking about, though, okay? You don't want to look professional. You have business in the, I, in the place. You can't be in there recording, man. And once again. So you can record from public spaces, yes. But if you don't have business here, so, and if they have, listen, with it being a medical facility, okay. right? People have right to privacy. There's no privacy in public. Okay. Once you step through that door. That's a public lobby. Unless they're asking you to leave. If you so, don't have business there, they can have you trespass. Even from hospitals. They, from, listen, listen, hospitals. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most dangerous types of heroes that you can encounter in America. This type of hero is so delusional that he actually believes all the shit that's coming out of his mouth. Now, over the years, I've reviewed a lot of footage from a lot of different police departments and sheriff's departments throughout the entire United States. But Arizona, hands down, has the highest number of pieces of shit working in police departments and sheriffs in the entire United States. Now, how pathetic is that? And this guy is a perfect example of that. Would you agree hospitals are a public place? No, not all hospitals. Would you agree a, uh, Listen, would you agree a hospital lobby is a public place? Public health departments is. Would you agree a hospital lobby? What kind of hospital? A memorial Banner, hospital? Banner, it's not public. Banner, Banner, it's not public. See, there's a difference. Banner, yeah. So you, you want me to talk from sure. my experiences, okay? So I'm not going to go on the hypotheticals. I'm not going to do any of that stuff because you've obviously done your research into everything and you, oh, go, believe off me, I have. And you go off of all that. So I'm going to talk off Absolutely. of my experience. Okay, okay, go ahead. So St. Mary's Hospital mm -hmm. has plenty of people trespassed. They can't deny medical emergencies, but 100%, they can trespass. Who owns that hospital? I'm talking about public spaces. Public, but who owns the public spaces and That's, the public buildings? The taxpayers. Okay. Hold on, but let no, me finish. No, no. Let me finish. Hold on. 
Okay. Let me finish. You can talk. You can okay. Hear all you want on your phone. I'm trying. You don't need me here for that. Because I know what I'm doing, sir, for work. I know, but you're right? trying to You're trying to trying to you're trying to trust me. No, you're trying to convince me. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. If I can answer it, I will. I went up there to get some condoms and get some business and get some information. And I was recording. Straight away, they came out and just started. I'm allowed to do that, right? So, like I said, I'm not going to speak directly on all the specific nuances of it on where you are and aren't allowed to. As far as I'm concerned, and far, as far as my knowledge goes, you're fine to do that, right. okay? You're fine to do that. I know, and we come with no ill but will. But when your business is done, you're just recording other people's medical. You can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? Okay. If it's in a public view, I can record anything I can see, and I'm not okay. here for that. So, but once again, like I can I come in this building and right that, now. And that's fine. I, need to I can come in this building. You're I'll not letting me finish real done. quick. Your business is done. I can come in this building without conducting and asking for anything. Okay, I, I can come in this building and I know it's not. A, I know it's past five o'clock. I don't have to ask for no service. I could come and record in a public lobby, and record my government officials. That's you're not going to get me to that, agree with you, man. That, so you're fine. That is my business as I a journalist. I, I said I wasn't going to agree with you. That That's not right. against the law, sir. So, like I said, your business is concluded here. Would you guys like them trespass? You, they can't trespass me from a public building, sir. Well, you. I've asked you to wait outside. Sir, this is. I want to. Are they closed? Are they closed? 30. You still got 30 minutes. Okay, so this is the this is then yeah, I'm recording. Business, okay? I'm recording you educating them. I have no, a right to do that. that I'm recording. sir. You can request a copy of my Listen. recording. I find it hilarious that he would even try to use his body camera as a means of getting footage from them when the county is trying to make it more difficult for citizens to get footage from the county. Pima County's top prosecutor wants to limit your access to public records. Their excuse for doing this? Not enough funding for the staff or the complexity of the redactions needed. Now let me tell you from an editor's perspective. It would literally take me a matter of three to four hours to watch a 45 minute video, make notes of redaction points while I'm watching, upload the video into a video editor, and find the points to blur or mute and then do it. The only difficult part at least for them, would be the reading portion. It might take them some time to read a police report and then to think out what they gotta do. I can see that part taking some time, the whole reading and thinking thing. I'm recording it all for you. All right, okay? all right. But so what happens if I go in there? Listen, you over my shoulder during my investigation is not gonna happen. Listen, man, I'm telling you right now, if I go in there, are you going to arrest me? I, I haven't pu- answered you that yet. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there. I want to see you recording them. I have a right to record them. You have your right. This guy. This this guy. Recording up? Huh? So you got your recording up? Yeah, what? I just want to make sure you had time to hit start on it if you weren't. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you happen to have your ID on you? What? What's your name? I'm not going to give that. I didn't commit a crime. If you're going to take a little crime that I committed, I'll give you my ID. Trespassing. What's your name? No, you have to give me a warning. That's how it works. Give me a warning, I'll leave. I need to document. That you're being noticed. That's not the way the law works. That's not the way the law works. How are you going to trespass me? They didn't trespass me. It's a public building. You can't trespass me from a public building without committing a crime, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be... So you're going to arrest me? Are you going to arrest me if I don't give you my ID? You have the right to the principal attorney... Answer that question. ...questioning and to be with you during questioning if you so desire. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed for you. Am I being detained? Yes. Do you understand... For what crime? Do you understand? For what crime? Trespassing. Okay, so if I don't give you my ID, you're going to arrest me? Answer the question. I'll give you my ID if it's on the threat of arrest. You want to go this route? Let's do it. You're going to give me your ID and dead condition either way. Okay, so I if... I need to make threat of Hold arrest. on. Yeah, you do. Because that's not the way the law works. I didn't commit a crime here. I got to commit a crime for you to get my ID. Trespassing. Okay. 
they didn't trespass me and it's a public building i'm investigating trespassing okay, okay but this is a public building you can't trespass me without committing a crime you can't turn this into a crime This cop's willful ignorance is fucking disgusting. And the people that trained him and allow him to continue to act like this are even fucking worse. It disgusts me beyond words that this might be something that my children might be subject to in the future. I'm not talking about the phone. I don't care. I'm, I'm recording, I recording my document. Okay, so I, if I- I'm told you, and I'm recording. All right, so you want to go? You want to play that game? I'm not playing any game. Yeah, you I'm are. Investigating All right, if you under threat question. of arrest, I'll give you my ID. If you're gonna threat or arrest me, I'll give you my ID right now. Are you going to arrest me if I don't give you my ID? Because I'm not gonna give my. I didn't commit a crime. I know my I'm ID investigating laws. Investigating. Okay, Stress. then investigate. Yeah. And you haven't even spoke to them. Says who? Says the camera and us that we. You haven't even spoke to them. You don't even want to go inside. And I told you, yeah. I'll wait outside. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. You don't get to tell me how to do my job. No, and I have but you don't get to you don't get to violate my rights. That's not the way it works. I'm you're not going to let you do it. You're being detained for trespassing. That's not I, for what crime? I'll give you my ID. I'll give you my ID. Give me your supervisor, sir. That's what I'm calling. Give me your supervisor. You're making a huge mistake. I disagree. You disagree? Mm -hmm. We'll see what my lawyer has to say about that. Everyone's got I didn't, the rights to dispute it. No, you're being investigated I, for trespassing. How come you didn't ask me for my ID there? You see how it works? I think because you don't like the way I'm speaking to you. That's why. That's why. You can't just trespass me from a public building. You don't own this building. They don't own this building. I got to commit a crime. That's the way the law works. You're going to provide your ID? Are you going to arrest me if I don't? Are you going to arrest me if I don't? Do you know the law? Oh, absolutely. I know the law. In so the industry that I'm in, yeah, absolutely. So are you aware that... You can't during, just trespass me from a sidewalk. So during an investigation, an officer asks you to provide your identification, it is required. No, do, you know, do you know which form That's only if I committed a crime about or has. Do actually, you have reasonable suspicion? Actually, if you're detained... Do you have... For what crime, though? Trespass. I've been doing this shit for a long time, and I've heard the Tucson Police Department, the Mesa Police Department, the Tempe Police Department, and all other kinds of police departments in Arizona use the same exact fucking twisted logic to come to trespassing while you're holding a cell phone recording what you're doing in a public space. I mean, can anybody explain this kind of psychotic logic to me, please? Because I'm having a very, very hard time understanding any of why am i trespass for what crime on a public area i came to get service with my friend you're fine. call supervisor you have no idea what you're talking about you have no idea what you're talking about nah you ain't gonna violate my rights today bro on the threat of arrest i'll give you my id right now this is the you're this is the problem the this is the issue that we have in america the disconnect the that we have between law enforcement and the people you guys come on man so why didn't you ask me there why why now all of a sudden why uh, why no. do you get to dictate the order why? which I no do? but i don't understand why you just trespassing me just for the hell of it you haven't even spoke to them yes i have when did you speak to them it's on camera you didn't speak to them. We went straight outside, sir. Yeah, this, you have this, no this idea is, what you're talking the about. Same issue that we usually have nah. with, with the auditors. Is nah, because you guys don't know. Everything. So does ours, and we don't we, we don't redact ours. You can dispute it. Okay, fine. Call a supervisor. I'll give you my idea under threat of arrest. Same thing. I request him right. before you. I want to disengage this conversation, dude. Okay. That's it. I'm not walking away. I'm not walking away. Right. I'm detained. But I'm, are you going to arrest me if I don't? I'll give it to you right now. So we're gonna change your detention. You can keep recording. You're fine. Don't resist. I'm not resisting. All right. You are still allowed to be detained. Am I under arrest? You're detained. You can keep asking the same question over and over again. I can ask all I want. You can. You can hold this phone if you'd like. I'm not going to jail yet. Nope. You're just detained. This way. Because I need to place you in the back of my car. 
while I make the phone call. You hear my phone ringing? Yep. So I'm not going to do that while you're free out walking around. Are you requesting a supervisor? Uh huh. And that's probably his call ringing. Well, I want to talk to the supervisor. I will fix that. Right? Have a seat. Any weapons on you? No, no, no. Okay. Hang tight. Yeah. You know you're wrong. You had no reason to trespass me. I didn't commit no crime. You could have done it in there. And still, if you did it in there, that still has no reason for you to trespass me without even you investigating anything or speaking to them. All right? That's the way the law works. So if you want to go play that, I'm, I'll give you my ID you, on the third of arrest. You, you I'll give you my ID. You show, I told you that. You show me the law that dictates what order I do Oh, yeah, things. I can show it to you right now like this? Nah, man. I'm is not going to. Because there is a You don't so. think if I didn't know what I'm doing, I would be doing it? Come on, man. I know what I'm doing. All right. Come on. Come on. Dude, like I said, I respect what you guys do. I don't care. Like, well, you're giving me orders of me not going into a lobby. It, it, the, the place is not closed. I have a right to go walk in there. That's all I was trying to do. I made a request, yeah? Yeah, and the request is not a law. It's not lawful. And you notice I didn't, me requesting you to do that? But you, I didn't take any action but against you. do I have you. to listen to you? Do no, I have? You don't have to listen. Exactly. To Hi there, Sergeant Dial. I heard you requested a supervisor. Yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm unlawfully detained. What's that? I'm unlawfully detained. No, you're not actually. Now, please allow me to introduce the Tucson Police Department's largest piece of human excrement, Dustin Dial. Dustin Dial makes $120,000 a year to show up to a scene that he knows nothing about and make legal interpretations while somebody is in cuffs in the back of his corporal's police vehicle. No. So what kind did I come in here? He didn't He didn't investigate with them. He immediately told me to go over there and come outside while he, he wanted to go and conduct his, his business in there. I came out here and I, he didn't like the way I was speaking to him. I did not disrespect him. All of a sudden he wants my ID. I didn't commit a crime. He can't turn a protected activity into a crime. I came in here in a public building to record the interaction that we had to get some condoms and that's it. I'm not going to give my ID unless it's under threat of arrest. I didn't commit a crime. You got to commit a crime about or has. That's the way the law works. And I'll give him my ID. I have it in my hand. But he doesn't want to stay under threat of arrest. You guys want to he, play this game and go this route? He doesn't have to That's, He doesn't have to tell you in the words that you want to use. Sir, I did not commit a crime. Recording in a public building is not a crime. Well, it's a county building. Okay, it's a, who, owns the, who owns the building? Did they ask you to leave? No. Did they ask you and to leave? And even if recording? they did, well, yeah, they did. Okay, that's all right. Yes, you just heard Dustin Dial, a Tucson, Arizona police sergeant, tell somebody exercising their constitutional rights that employees of the county have a right to tell him to turn his camera off while he's recording them at work. Yeah, you really heard that. Now, this waste of oxygen is so confident in what he's doing because he's gotten away with it before. My friend, Pigs Under Pressure, has been arrested for trespassing on a sidewalk by this freaking lord. If you want to see that video, I'll link it in the description and the pinned comments of this video, along with this original video that I got from Surreal Cam. No, no, they're public employees. It's a First Amendment right to record a public employee. No, they have, a right to, they have a right to tell you to stop recording. They have a right to tell you to is leave. It, what crime is that? So What crime is that? It's trespassing. No, that's not a crime. You can't they, turn you can't turn recording into a crime. They're public employees. You know Smith versus Cummings. Did they ask you? I'm what? not going to play this game with you. I man. don't want to. We're going to book game. you. and We're going to put your camera into property because under 1324.12, you have an absolutely every you have the obligation to provide your true and lawful name. All right. When, I'll give you when, my name. When, when an officer. I'll give you my name. When an officer arrest. is investigating your crime. All right. And it's this officer, they called 911 on you. It's not a crime, sir. They called 911 on you. Okay. So, as a result that he is here to investigate a crime of either disorderly conduct or trespassing. The investigation is going on. Your refusal to provide your name while he's doing the investigation is a violation Sir, of 1324. He didn't investigate. He went inside and immediately walked us out here and then he asked me for my ID. He didn't even speak to those people. Okay, well, he That's had enough all. information he, based no, he, on the okay. 911 call. Okay, so well, you can believe what you if want he to wants the fine. ID, I'll give him the ID on the threat of arrest. Okay, well, what do you mean under threat of arrest? You're under yeah. arrest for 
so failure to ID based on this not investigation. A under what crime? Thirteen twenty four twelve. You can't trespass me in a public building unless I commit a crime. I they they have I every right. That's not the every way to right. work, sir. All right. All right so I'm going to jail. Two. Um, I'm going to determine that. I, I, all right, watch I, I, your knee. You're going to make that mistake? Watch your knee. I'm serious. All right, all right, let's go. All right come on. Do you want to provide your name or not? I said yes, if I'm not going to jail. Oh, no, no, no. There's no, there's no alternative Okay, Joel Christian Lopez. Watch your knee. Joel Christian Lopez. You guys want my name that bad? You want to violate my rights like that? On camera? Go ahead, let's do it. All right. Go yeah. ahead. What's your first name? Joel Christian Lopez. How do you spell your first name? J. J what? O-E-L. Christian o Lopez. Joel you guys Lopez. just destroyed my rights, dude. That's not the way it works. It, uh, it is. No, it's no, it's not. I'm going to Eternal See, Affairs. I'm going to Eternal go Affairs. Go for it. All right. You know, for some reason, you, you guys. You, for some he, reason, you think you, you can't can just go in here and start filming in a yes, in, I in can. A, in a public health building. Yes, these no, are public man. employees. They, they have every right to him to. Uh, Sir, this is this not a. You can't turn that into Joel, a crime. Joel Christian Lopez. Lopez. Okay, watch your knee. Uh, grab the your other stuff real quick. Okay. Does that you look got, normal to you? You got time for this? Does that look normal to you? You got time for this? Does that look normal to you? You have time for this? After you sign your ticket. All right, so what I got to do? Gather your stuff. I'm done. I, 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 I have to come sign your ticket. All right. I told you, man, I'm not on your Wait, time. Sergeant. Your, so you want your stuff. There's more stuff in there. I don't Sergeant, is this normal to you right here? Come on over here. Is that normal to you right here? Look at my wrist. For the time for the time limit that I've been back there? Look, I'm not seeing an issue there. Come on. No, no, you don't no. see an issue there? No. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Look. You're bleeding? Yeah. Do you need medical attention? There's no redness, there's no okay. indentation. No. It's an indentation. You don't think that was a little too tight? Uh considering like, where no. I put where I put your handcuffs. Look, look, look at this. Yeah. Just give so. my ticket and kick rocks, bro. Come on. Let's go. Dude. Don't touch me like that. I'm not, am I still detained? Yes. Okay, okay. You have not been been okay, you okay. Let me sign my ticket. to take all your stuff and take oh. you to jail? You Here. Nah, I already have my education okay. enough, dude. You guys are tyrants. You guys are a bunch of tyrants, dude. Tyrants. Tyrants that don't know the law, dude. At all. We'll see how far this takes us. I'm serious. What? You have no idea what you're talking about. You're very uneducated. Disgusting subhuman creatures like this should not be allowed to breathe the same air as me. If you want to stay updated on this situation as it progresses, head over to my friend Surreal Cam's channel and subscribe. Watch some of his content and leave a comment on one of his videos and let him know that Direct D sent you. And you just follow his footsteps. Again, thank you for your time tonight. Appreciate your info. You're not welcome. Authority if I exercise my right. Whatever. I don't personally care what you sentence me to. I'm appealing everything today, so it's going to freeze whatever you sentence me to, and we're just going to kick it to a higher court. Because clearly this one is corrupt. They turn in our communities to hot blocks. Yeah, they got glocks, handcuffs, and badges. They swear that they hot shots. They want to lock us and throw away the stop. Watch, you know, direct deal. Show you how to cop. Watch, cop, watch. Record them when a cop stops. And ignore the pig chatter when a cop talks. You don't need a top notch camera. Just a cop watch. You gotta know your rights or you lose them. So we cop watch.